Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore in northern Michigan is one of five national parks in the Great Lakes State. With its beautiful beaches, dunes, and forests, the park attracts more than a million visitors each year. Part of the park is in North Manitou Island, a managed wilderness about 12 miles from the shore. This summer, a recent graduate of the School of Natural Resources and Environment and a current student worked for the U.S. National Park Service on separate projects across the island. Their research included monitoring species populations and the impact of humans on the island. I'm doing a special project this summer that is a camping assessment for North Manitou Island. So we're looking to find out where people camp the most and how their camping is impacting the natural resources so that we can hopefully inform management's decisions in the future as to how to manage the island and the wilderness areas. Just if there's like things that are difficult to you, maybe like camp around, like poison ivy, we want to put that in there or um, stuff that might not regenerate by itself, like if you have a bunch of pine trees that you're going to flatten out with your tent, those aren't going to come back. I have been serving North Manitou Island for most of the summer, which has been a lot of backpacking and camping. It's been pretty awesome. And I look for trails that people have created off of our main trails that usually lead to campsites. And at those campsites, I look for soil compaction, changes in vegetation diversity, um, and any damage to the vegetation. Or um, a lot of them are also near the lake shore in steep sand bluffs. So we look for erosion problems that are occurring at those too. Field work takes much longer than you anticipate. <laughs> and there are always things that you can't account for. Bad weather, boat rides, boats not working, all kinds of things like that. It's just part of field work. Um, it has been a very fun part of field work trying to figure all those things out. I am creating for my client or the park a, a report at the end of the season that maps out all of the campsites that I've located, data I've collected. Um, and then I have also created a monitoring program for the park so that for future years, um, law enforcement or natural resources staff can possibly go out to North Manitou again and revisit some of these sites that we'll either be um, rehabbing or continuing to use. Um, and then we can keep an eye on them and decide what's going to be managed in the future. So those paired with some recommendations that I'll be making to management at the end of the season will all kind of be put into one, one big report presentation um, for the park as well as SNRE. I started working at Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore in 2008 uh, as a piping plover intern after I graduated from Elma College. Uh, I am now in my fourth season as a biological technician and my primary projects uh, include cormorant survey, coyote surveys, and bear as well. Uh, the coyote survey is involving putting out track plates and in the middle of the track plates there are scent lures to lure in the coyotes. So we're using coyote urine on half the stations and then a synthetic fermented egg um, scent on the other ones. Alright. And on the track plates, we've sprinkled uh, carbon bridge chalk that is uh, very pressure sensitive. And when the coyotes come to um, investigate the scent, they step on the, uh, the track pad, and leaving an indentation. We're able to uh, generate uh, possible uh, population numbers. Getting out and being able to uh, explore uh, all the resources that, that this park has to offer, uh, having a chance to go over there and uh, explore around and see parts of the park that most vi visitors don't get a chance to see has been a real reward. But learning about these individual species and the effects that they have on the resource is also, also very interesting. So SNRE provides a great real-world real perspective on what we'll actually be doing uh, in, our, in our careers and, and projects outside of school. It, it overlaps completely with uh, the work that I've done and the work that I'll continue to do in the future. At the end of August, I will be uh, taking a position with uh, BP Exploration Alaska Incorporated as an environmental specialist.